Have you ever heard of anybody getting heart cancer? Me neither, and I don't think there's ever been a documented case in history. Which is odd, right? Because people seem to be getting cancer all over the place, seems to be in every organ imaginable found all the time. Um, except it's never found in the heart. Ever wonder why that is? Well, some people would have you believe that uh, the paper written by Dr. Dr. Otto Warburg called The Root Cause of Cancer, of which a Nobel Prize was awarded, uh, yeah, like almost a hundred years ago, because we know exactly what causes cancer. And the number one reason is oxygen deprivation to the cells. Now, I think cancer is much more complex than that. I think that's a bit of an oversimplification. But that, um, and I guess to be fair, maybe it's that many other things contribute to oxygen deprivation. And so we need to look at the reasons why that's happening. Now the difference is with the heart is that there's always constant circulation, constant oxygen. The muscles are always contracting. That means all the lymph in the area is always moving. There's no waste getting stagnated and getting locked up and blocked up and all that good stuff, which is proof that oxygen actually is one of the biggest reasons and biggest answers to the problem of cancer. And it find, I find it so odd that some people think they could take a magic pill, magic lotion, magic potion, avoid changing any lifestyle habits, or even worse, take chemo, radiation, and surgery, and things like that. Do we really believe that those things are going to contribute more oxygen or less oxygen to the cell? Do you need to be a scientist? If you had to bet your money, do you think that chemo, radiation, and surgery provide more oxygen or less oxygen to the body? And you're gonna see oh, less. Your common sense mind is already going there. Now it's odd, people have lymphomas. Well, the lymphatic system requires muscle flexion. The lymph system is designed to move waste out of the body, but it has no pump. It requires constant, consistent uh, muscle flexion. Reminds me of like a tube of toothpaste that you have to slowly squeeze from the back to the front to get it out. Your lymphatic system's a lot like that. Another one big reason why you don't get any problems in the heart, and that's because you've got constant heart muscle contraction going on in that area. You can't get healthy without exercise, and there are many other elements of health that you can't get uh, without living healthy principles. So there is no magic potion, pills, lotions, or oils. If you want to get healthy, you need to overhaul your lifestyle. You need to make sure there's lots of oxygen going to the body and ignore any doctor who tries to convince you otherwise because I'd love to hear his explanation forwarded for why he's never seen any heart cancer if this is not indeed a fact. Anyway, that's something for you to ponder. Let your mind chew on that. Anyway, give a subscription over to the YouTube channel here. Check out the website um, and we'll talk to you again. Have a great day. I'm Terry Tiller signing out. Take care.